Do you want to learn how to write a blog post when you suck as a writer? Well, today is your lucky day. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and today I'm going to break down how to write amazing blog posts without being an expert in your niche, the copy and paste process. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, please click the alert notification. Now, I have a question for you before we get started. Have you ever written a blog post? If you have, let me know how many posts you write on a regular basis in the comments below. And if you haven't, just let me know with a no. I'm just curious how many of you actually write content on a regular basis. And I'm hoping that this video helps encourage more of you to write and it speeds up how long it takes you to write. So step one, start with a problem that your target audience needs to solve. You can use tools like Quora, Reddit, Ubersuggest, questions, prepositions, and comparisons within Ubersuggest, and that will tell you, hey, here's what some of the problems and issues that people have. You know, like just like when you're going on Quora, you see a lot of pain points that people are talking about. This gives you an idea on what you should be writing about. Step two, do keyword research. Go into Ubersuggest, Type in some keywords related to your space, and as you're typing in these keywords, you'll see a whole slew of suggestions. Do any one of those topics warrant you know, a separate post? Should you end up creating content around that? If so, great. If not, no worries. Or they can be part of a comprehensive blog post, right? If you have many different keywords and they're all related to each other, they can be all part of a comprehensive blog post. Step three, analyze your competition. And what I mean this is type in the keywords in Google that you want to end up ranking for and you want to write your content around. Look at your competition. Do they have long blog posts? Do they have short blog posts? What are their subheadings? Do their subheadings contain keywords? Are they answering questions? Are they talking about the problems that they're trying to help solve? Look at the keywords that they're ranking for beside their focus keywords and you can type in those URLs of your competition within Ubersuggest and it'll tell you that. Step four. Find statistics that can help you frame your topic in terms of relevancy, business impact. You can use sites like Statista, Google, and when you're on Google, you can type in like the keyword plus statistics. You can uh, check out Google Scholar as well. There's so many data points and stats within that as well. Step five, create your outline for your content piece. And I want you to create a few headline variations. It's all about the headline. They say with headlines, Eight out of 10 people will read it, but only two out of 10 will click through to the rest. Now, when you think about headlines, if you're struggling, check out Copy Blogger Headline Formula. You can just Google for that. It'll help you write better headlines. You also wanna check out headings. With your headings, you wanna include some of the keywords that you're targeting for. Headings also make it easier for people to just skim your articles, which means their headings should be as catchy as your headlines. Now, you wanna to cover topics that you've seen in the top 10 ranked content pieces that are covering the topic that you're covering. And cover additional points and topics that your competition isn't covering yet. Such as if there's something new that no one's talking about, you should cover it. And just as a rough framework for you, when I'm outlining my content, I start with a headline, then I create my introduction paragraph, then I outline the main headings that I wanna cover, and those are the main topic points within my article. Then I'll write the conclusion, and the conclusion should be a summary of what people should learn, and then I end the conclusion with a question mark. That's because it causes more people to leave a comment below, which then helps boost your engagement with your content, and you get more loyal readers. Now, question for you is, do you leave a question at the end of your blog post? If you do, just let me know with a yes below. If you don't, just say no, I don't leave a question at the end of my blog post. And I'm curious, and if you say no, you should consider trying it. It's a very effective trick. Now, bonus tip, use tools like Jarvis to AI that can do a lot of the work for you. It can help you with the outlining process and it can write part of your content. It's not perfect, where it'll write your whole blog post for you, but it can roughly save you maybe 30 minutes to hour, depending on uh, how prolific of a blogger you are when it comes to writing your own content. Now, if you need help with your content marketing, Check out my ad agency, NP Digital, where we write content for our clients. Or if you just have a question, leave a comment below and I'm here to answer it and help you out. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, tell the people about it. Thank you for watching.